All right, so we're moving for good line of sight, off in lane position three. Spot of the hazard going 10 below speed limit. Okay. Oh, we always watch out for those people. Accelerate, 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 accelerate. Or decelerate now, because you had to. Now you're going to fucking stop. Well, God damn. Yeah. This one, I mean, guys, you guys are smart. You guys are absolutely smart. I think you already know what's happening here. Remember, the whole goal of this is we're trying to figure out what was the common factor. I want to see it in the chat what you think the common factor might have been. Name the common factor here. Do you think speed was a problem? Do you think positioning was the problem? Do you think ego was the problem? Ego can translate to, to having too much speed or you know, getting into a bad position, like fighting, right? Also, there's a cool dog right there. I think dogs are amazing. Great dog. Hey, what's up? How you doing? The music is insane. All right, so as soon as you see that, it's not that uncommon. So it's a common thing in a common situation, but it's a common factor, common hazard. So part of the planning is position for safety, locate hazards. Boom, we located it. Now, how do we adapt to this hazard? Because it's not a threat yet. So we're not navigating any threats yet, you know, plan. So how do we adapt to a possible hazard? We have good space cushion. We have a good lane positioning. We've got lane position one, lane position two, lane position three. We're in good lane position. We also have a good escape route to the right if we absolutely had to. And remember, escape routes are forward, backward, side to side, whatever it is you can do. Okay, so you can accelerate, decelerate, or swerve left and right. So when we see this coming up, and we see this person starting to accelerate a little bit, you see the tire spinning. It's like, oh, he's going to probably want to come into our lane. What can we do right now? Right now, to be a courteous driver, how about you roll off the throttle and match his speed, especially if there's nobody behind us, and allow him to get in. Oh, novel concept, right? Being a courteous driver will produce you know, safer environments for you as a motorcycle rider. But let's say we don't do that, which is what we do here. Okay, we're in the blind spot now. We're in the blind spot. This person's coming over. Now what can we do? We have two options. We can accelerate through to get in front, which we can do right there in that right turn lane, maybe get ourselves back in the left. But that puts us in different situations, right? So if we accelerate, possibility of one of these vehicles merging into us, also a possibility of not getting where we want to go. Once we want to go straight, and that's a right turn only. Massive problems for us because of this dumb dumb. Hey, but it's going to keep us safe. So when I was saying, hey, roll off the throttle, apply the brakes, this person's automatically going to go in anyway. So, so we got to just either let them in or accelerate through. So accelerate, 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 or decelerate, 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 let them in. Those are the two options you really have and could have done better on this one. So what saved them there was deceleration, the horn. Okay, that's fine. Just realize this is one of those things that if you honk at somebody, it might not produce the effect you want. So now that we're right here, we go back to planning, position for safety, locate hazards. We're not in a good position anymore. This car driver, this Ford, took our position, took our safety away from us. Now we are not in a position for safety. We locate a hazard. Now we have to adapt to that hazard, and we adapt by putting ourselves back into a position of safety. So look at all this room. So this person right here took our position for safety. We're going to adapt to it by moving over. Do it now. Don't wait until it becomes a threat. Don't wait until you have to go into orange stage. I'm sorry, red stage. Orange stage you should be in right now. Don't wait until you go into red stage or brown stage. You need to get yourself out of that situation so that you're never having to use that. Now you're gonna so now he had to swerve out of the way. Now he had to swerve out. Why couldn't we have just positioned a little bit earlier? You're constantly adapting. You want to be two steps ahead. Constantly two steps ahead. Fucking stop. What the could have been a bad driver, could have been a driver not paying attention, could have been a completely white zoned out driver, it doesn't matter. Our safety is paramount. They're not going to make sure we're safe, we need to make sure we're safe.